हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स गो टू नेक्स्ट डिस्कशन अबाउट द ग्रुप थ्योरी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रुप दैट इज यूनिटरी ग्रुप एंड आई होप यू हैव सीन ऑल द प्रीवियस वीडियोस एंड दिस ऑल वीडियोस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड एज वेल एज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ग्रुप थ्योरी सो यूनिटरी ग्रुप इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फिजिक्स स्टूडेंट्स मेनली एंड it has very important role to understand different type of symmetry such as rotational symmetry or if you want to go into the particle physics there are a special unitary group and as well as if you want to understand the quantum mechanics the unitary group group is very very important so you have to understand what is the property of first unitary matrix and then we will see that how it can create a group So what is unitary matrix? Sorry, what is unitary matrix or unitary operator? So if we we are working for the quantum mechanics, we in general use the word operator, and uh, we can uh, treat operator in a matrix form as you we all know. So let's try to first define what is unitary matrix or unitary operator. So suppose I have any A operator, and if we have A dagger is equal to A inverse, then A is assumed to be unitary matrix, and what is Dagger? Dagger is nothing but it will Hermitian transpose. So what you will do? You will just change the row to the column and column to the row, and you will take the complex conjugate. So this is basically known as Dagger. So A Dagger is equal to A inverse. So this is the property of unitary matrix. And here we are talking about unimodular unitary matrix. What is meaning of that? Meaning of that determinant. of a must be equal to 1 so that must be equal to 1 so if you will finding the determinant the mod value of that it is 1 so it is said to be what unimodular unitary operator so another property we can also see that if we have a dagger a then we have a inverse a and that value is equal to i also so this is the property of a unitary operator or unitary matrix so what do we have to do we have to prove that whether n cross n unimodular unitary matrix is a is a in, in a simple multiplication or matrix multiplication you can say can we form a group so let's try to prove each and every point step by step so suppose i have a collection of uh, matrix that is n cross n matrix this is s and this is your collection of n cross n unitary matrix and we have to prove that they are forming a group so suppose i have a operator a or matrix a and this is element of s we have another unitary matrix that is also element of s then we have to check whether ab will also element of s or not so what we have we have a b dagger suppose this is a new element a into b and we have to just check ab what is value of this one so if we are going to this thing then this value is equal to b dagger a dagger ab hence a is a unitary matrix then a dagger a is equal to identity then we have b dagger identity b and this value is equal to b dagger b that value is identity so yes here you can say if ab is some new matrix that matrix can be c then c dagger c is also identified as identity and another thing we have to check whether they are unimodular or not then what we have we have mod or determinant of a b must be written as determinant of a into determinant of b and we know that this is your uh, unitary matrix and unimodular matrix so this will be i into i that will be i so yes if a is a uh, 
basically unitary matrix b is unitary matrix then a into b that is c is also unitary matrix and that also belongs to s so there we have proved the first thing that is a closure relation second we will just try to go for a basically a associative relation so it is very simple so we have a operate on b operate on c and that value is equal to a operate b operate c and that value is equal to a b c so yes and the from previous one a b is unitary b c is unitary then obviously this a b c is also unitary so yes we are following the associative relation also the third there is a existence of identity there is a existence of identity so we have i and if i is going to operate on a what do we will get we will get i and we have also a inverse is going to operate so i will be also a inverse a is also i so we can have this particular existence of identity and the last part we have to see that whether a dagger is also a hermitian matrix or not so let's try to go for this one the third one we are just going to talk about a dagger so we have a dagger and yes a dagger to the power dagger into a is nothing but into a dagger actually so a dagger to the power dagger is equal to a into a dagger that value is equal to identity and what we have we have determinant of a dagger is equal to determinant of a inverse is equal to nothing but identity so yes a dagger will be also part of this particular group so yes if we are just is verifying all the property then this n cross n unitary matrix is going to form a group and it has infinite dimensional group so beautiful thing is that this is a basically infinite dimensional group it has infinite dimensional group so students it is very important group that is unitary group because all other subgroup such as a special unitary group of order 3 su2 su3 all are the subgroup of this particular unitary group so once we will understand this thing then you can only go to the it's about all about its subgroup so you can again see that how we can prove that thing first we have defined the unitary matrix then we have proved the closure relation this is all about closure and then we have basically a uh, associative relation yes we have associative we have existence of identity and yes we have also existence of inverse so yes we can have easily uh, basically uh, this uh, unitary operator is act as a group thank you